Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and uh, that don't look right here. Let me, let me get that fixed real quick. Uh, so I'm a little off there. Let me adjust this. The reason being is, um, I re for the longest time, this game, Gems of War, I had it set to actual full screen. Um, recently, I switched it to windowed mode, just so I can be able to see my taskbar, you know, so I can see what time it is and stuff like that without having to look up at the clock. So, but anyway, um, and I guess before I continue on, I'm going to have some music running in the background, and because I'm not in the mood to go and cherry pick what I'm what I'm actually looking for. Not my first choice right now, but like I said, it's going to suffice. Um, yeah, i just been playing this all stream. Oh, and also, I forgot to say too, um, this, the main intent of this video is to save time on, on working on my blog. Otherwise, I'd have to sit here and just type out this huge, you know, just this huge wall of text, you know, and trying to explain what it, so, trying to explain what I want and maybe throw on a bunch of images and all that. So, just making a video about it is going to save me a lot of time and effort. But, um, but, let me get this going. Come on. Turn it down a little bit. I'm going to stay close enough on the sound. Yeah, cause I'm kind of running a bit behind here, so I really need to get going on this. But anyway, um, through the help of uh, a couple of my viewers, DJ Screw and Bear Razor, um, probably the easiest way to is probably the easiest way to do this is I'll show you a little, show you guys a little tutorial on how uh, on how kingdoms work in this game. Um. They're your main source of income. In fact, I'll start here at Broken Spire because when you first play this game, I believe this is a kingdom that you'll start at. And um, in, a, in kingdoms in this game kind of work the same way zones work in Final Fantasy XIV or other, any other MMO, you know, like territories and stuff. So your first requirement... Um... I, I think there's a come on. Let's go underground here real quick. Um, your first requirement though to unlock a kingdom is you have to pay like four thousand gold. I think the num I think that's what the number is. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna bail out of this, but then you have to go through the the storyline quest just like you would in Final Fantasy XIV and and WoW and all of them. Complete the storyline in that in that territory. I've already completed the quest and then once you do that then you'll have these four options here available to you so like explore missions I'm part I'm part of the way done with this one but I've um, I've shown this before I mean, I've shown this before in other uh, in other videos so let me go ahead and uh, bail out of this one so, same thing here. You can um, you can pick whichever difficulty you want to do. I'll say difficulty one. Um, then you have to do four battles, and after you do that, you'll fight a mini boss, beat the mini boss, and you'll get extra uh, myth stones. Get a hundred of them, and you can fight the mythic boss. Beat the mythic boss, and you'll get a boss chest. So, um, and then here, challenges kind of the kind of the same thing it starts at level one each challenge has an increasing difficulty the levels go up come on and then you'll get various rewards complete the entire tier and then you'll get a you'll get another bonus um and then these two down here um 
is your uh, kingdom level. And then where you're leveling it up, which requires whatever is up here in the upper left corner. It'll, uh, you know, like in this example here, you'll increase your earth mastery. Yeah, I, I can't click it from here, but like mastery. Yeah, I don't want to get into a match, but the higher your mastery, the more the more likely you'll you'll get what's called a mana surge in battle, meaning whatever matches you make, you'll get double the mana from that. So that's what mastery is. Um, and then like each one, and then plus one tribute. I I don't know the exact percentage, but um. Every hour, um, a kingdom has a random percentage chance of giving you a tribute, and it's it's just some um, it's some base number, it's some base number plus whatever your kingdom level is. Like in this case here, I have it to level ten, so I'm gonna get ten percent of plus. I'm gonna get ten percent of whatever my base number is from this particular kingdom and on top of that you'll also get other various bonuses like you also get a card mastery already showed that and you'll get another card and then um i'm kind of ignorant of how team bonuses work but if i'm guessing right if you uh if you're if you pick if you if you run with a team that's exclusively of this kingdom in this case being broken spire then you'll get a you'll get a tier bonus i don't know i don't know what the uh, stat bonus is or anything but you know so on and so forth you know then you, you get a tier two bonus and then the big one the big one is uh level 10 where uh, all of your cards and you yourself the hero and like I said, you, the hero and all your cards will get plus one life. So that's the big one. And then you can keep going on. And then, oh, and then faction horde stats, um, which is mainly a reference to, and I think I might've shown this in another video. I'll just go over here. Like if I, if I decide to run delves, Take your team and delve deep into the lair of this faction, and you'll get a you'll get a bunch of loot for each delve you complete. And then each faction each faction has a has a treasure hoard, which is what the uh, but basically each Overland Kingdom, um, like Broken Spire. I think it's underground equivalent is I don't have a clue I figured there'd be one uh, like right here or something but you kind of get the idea each kingdom has an under underground equivalent but but like I said I'm just I'm trying to save some time and effort and working on my blog here so like I said 25% faction horde stats whatever rewards you get from running those delves 25% of that is going to be tacked on. So, and then again, getting your kingdom levels to 15, you'll get an additional stat bonus. And um, but each one has a different stat bonus though. So like this one here, all of my all of my cards and my hero will get plus one armor. Uh, I think Dragon's Clock, you know, over here has kind of the same thing, plus one armor. Know, and you kind of get the idea and then power level uh, kind of the same thing here and this is one of the reasons why I'll probably say this in my blog where uh, guys like DJ Screw and uh, Bear Razor really helped me out on this um, and kind of uh, one of my complaints about this game is some of the wordy or some of the wording on this is the wording is like really really confusing like, um, for the longest time, plus one kingdom skill bonus. Oh, let me, let me back up a bit. Uh, power level, um, upgrading this 
as, as, as shown here, you get plus 100 gold per day, double the tribute reward, double the tribute chance, and then plus one kingdom skill bonus. Again, I misunderstood. I misunderstood the wording on this. I thought it meant. I thought it kind of went hand in hand with the kingdom team bonus. Like, if you run battles with a team that's exclusively in this particular kingdom, then um, you'll get a plus one bonus on it. Come to find out later that I was wrong about this. What it means is whatever um whatever skill bonus in this case in this kingdom here being armor means you get an additional plus one armor from this particular kingdom. But like I said, um I'll probably explain a little more on this later. But like I said, this is one of the drawbacks of this game is some of the wording on this is really hazy. It, I misinterpreted a lot of it. So, but anyway, um, another thing about the uh, about these kingdoms is power level. And one of the requirements, um, like you have to do various tasks. Uh, the big one is like one of the big ones. You got to upgrade nine dragons claw troops to level 18 and wrong one then you gotta then you have to sort out this mess this was something else that really threw me off um each card has a has what has a base rarity as it's and i don't think any of these there i think there actually was a tutorial that i took on this that shows you you know, like, and this is, um, and this here is a search filter. You know, people are probably familiar with it, like in all the other games you guys play. You know, Final Fantasy XIV. No. I'm kind of racking my brain on this. Yeah, I, I think Final Fantasy XIV, you could, um, you could sort your inventory bags. I think you could do a specific like typing down an actual search in a search box. I think it had it. I think it has it. I might be wrong, but you know, you can, you can pick, you can pick which colors you want in the search filter. You can also pick which colors you don't want in your search filter. You can also, uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in Dragon's Claw only right here. This is the kingdom, current kingdom I'm at. But you can, you can arrange, you can arrange the cards alphabetically, by level, whether or not they're upgradable. And what I'm looking for here is base rarity, because I'll kind of show you here. See, cards in this game have a are, have a rarity, like you have common, which are the lowest level, and then you have mythic which are the highest level. Now, one thing that I don't think the tutorial ever ever taught me, and one thing that uh, DJ Screw and I think Bear Razor actually showed me, is if you look real close, I mean, yeah, the, the number of diamonds, you know, it shows the current rarity. Because, in fact, let me, let me just go to upgrade. Yeah, I can't do it here. I could probably do it here. Go to upgrade. You can upgrade these cards to a higher rarity, which increases the uh, the level max. Like, as a common card, I can only go as high as level 15. Yeah, better not. I'll just do it manually. See, every time you level up a card, stats go up. Um, now... But in order to increase the uh, increase the rarity, thus increasing the max stats, you have to have you have to have extra cards. You'll turn in those cards, and then you'll again your rarity will go up. Like I require I require five more cards in order to level this up, and then to go from rare to ultra rare. Man, this is kind of another little nitpick on some of these cards. I. 
kind of bad wording. I mean, I don't, I can't, I can't really think of anything else, anything better. But I wouldn't have done rare, ultra rare. These are, to me, these are like, these words are like too powerful for the kind of, for what you get out of them. Because, I mean, because in some of these cards, you can get a whole bunch of them. So, so I wouldn't really call it rare or ultra rare. Because, like I said, some of these, some of these cards, I have a boatload of. Yeah, like this, for example. I have 47 of these here. Let me check something real quick. I think I might have screwed up at the outset. Okay, so you guys can see my cursor. All right. You know, like this example here, I got 47 of these. So, so I wouldn't quite... I wouldn't quite call this call this an ultra rare card. So, you know, I would call it maybe maybe something below average or something like that. But, you know, I wouldn't call it ultra rare or epic or legendary. You know, and so I, I, again, this is kind of a little little nit nitpick of mine kind of goes back to what I was saying about some of the wording in this game. I mean, it says, I got 46 extras. I wouldn't quite call this card a rare card. Not when I got 46 of them. So, but, again, but kind of kind of going off topic here, one of the things that uh, Screw and Bear Razor showed me is that if you look real close, some of these diamonds have a little X. And again, this is something that I don't think the tutorial really taught me. I think it just taught me that, you know, hey, see, want to upgrade? Or want want to upgrade a car? Just simply click this, and da da, it's upgraded, and that's about it. But it didn't. I don't think it showed me. I don't think it showed me this. Again, a couple of my uh, viewers had to show me this. So that really, you know, that really helped a lot, you know. And what, because one of the reasons why all my kingdoms were, weren't that powerful is just because trying to level these up is so super tedious. Because, oh, and I forgot to mention too. So what you're looking at here is the current rarity. Like, it's legendary. But if you didn't, but see, when I had a, when I try to do the order based on base rarity for the longest time, nobody said this to me. And uh, I'm guessing maybe screw Bear Razor or Bear Razor or anybody else that came on my stream, you know, probably looked, you know, probably saw me try to, try to make head or tail out of all this is, is this guy an idiot? Oh my god, what a moron, man. Screw this, man. Oh, oh wait, Geki calls on. I'm gonna go check her channel out. Pew, you know, she's a lot more smarter than this guy. So, you know, you know, I'm not, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not a moron just to piss people off. I mean, just, I didn't know this. Nobody said anything. So, but anyway, kind of, again, getting back to the topic, you know, you know, it just, and something else I forgot to mention, I'll have to go into the main menu. Um, when you're doing your search, but you can only do this, you can only do this in the main menu. Let me, uh, oh, little tiny nitpick here. This is something I had to figure out on my own. There's a clear filter option, you know, just to reset everything. But what's going to happen is, is, Okay, I click, clear, clear. you know, other games, you can do this, you know, reset the filter, get out of it. Huh? What's wrong, you know, and I, again, I was stuck on this. No, no, I want to clear the filter. But it keeps coming back to rarity, to cite an example. Okay, let's clear it again. There, card name. What the hell is going on? It 
it's back to rarity. I, I, I don't get it. You know, every other game I played, you just, you know, you do something like this, you clear it. You clear it, okay. Oh, and, I, and you know, in this little feature here, you can save your filter. But only when you're doing this in the uh, world map. Okay, save filter. Oh, what the hell? It's back to the original. What the hell? Uh, a black filter? Yay! But, you know, again, so again, a little nitpick. I didn't know about this. It took me many tries till, oh, you have to hit a black filter after you hit clear filter. No other game I've ever played that has a search engine, you have to do this. So, again, this is one of those little situations where I'm sure any of my viewers came on that, were, that was watching me getting all frustrated about this. Is this guy stupid or something? Man, screw this. Oh, hey, Honest Rob is on. I'm checking him out. <laughs> He's a lot smarter than this guy. You know, so. You know, I mean, again, never knew about this. So, but anyway, like like I was saying, kind of, again, once again, kind of going back to what I was saying, you can save your filter, but only in the world map screen. So you go here, save it, and make sure to hit apply. Again, no other game I played, you had to do this. It just automatically updated. So, then you go back. So, but again. So, but. See. Okay, where was I? Ah, yes. Um, but one thing I was trying to say too. But see, if you're on this particular screen here, outside of the world map, you can't save your filter. So again, little nitpick there. They really need an option to where you can save it. Go to base rarity. And then again, one of the, one of the tasks that you have to do to level up the power level of your kingdoms is, you know, you either A, have to increase the level here. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, the more, the higher a base rarity of a card, the more it costs. Now, common cards, as you'd probably expect, I think this is what I was trying to say a long time ago, but the higher your rarity, the more expensive they are to level up. And the more, uh, the more, uh, the more high level, the more trait stones you need. It's what you need to, these passives here, the more you'll require and the more higher rarity ones that you'll need to level them up. But this is one of the exceptions. But yeah, like I said, one of the tasks you have to have, or you have to do, to level up these uh, kingdom power levels is leveling this up and unlocking all these. So, and again, the higher the base rarity, the more of these stones that you'll require. So to kind of reiterate, each each card has a rarity. You know, range you from common all the way up to the top, all the way up to mythic level. And one of the things the game doesn't tell you, at least not to my knowledge, is if you look at the little stars here, this is the base rarity. You know, this one here is actually a ultra rare, I think. No. Is rare, I think it's called, you know, two stars, etc. And again, the base rarity matters. Because the more, the more rare a card is, the more expensive it is to level up. So. Um, and I think I mentioned this. Dragging your heels. Drag it on. Royal blood. But, like, one thing this game does get right on the wording, though, just there are a lot of puns in this game. So, I guess it somewhat balances it out. Sometimes it's a confusing wording in 
like I said, in other times there's a lot of a lot of funny flavor text too. Gems Award needs more hot dudes. Yeah, to kind of counteract all the fan service that's in, that's in this game. Like, uh, like Green Seer. Yes, I have an actual team of fan service characters. I never intended to to level them up and you know and all that, but I think one of my I think Screw was like, you need you need to level and trade those, which that wasn't my intention with this team. Mostly just to be a smart ass. So Not that I'm a not that I'm a perv per se, but I just felt like being a smart ass. There's a fair amount of these fan service chicks in this game, so probably trying to get you to sink more money into it. But anyway, um anyway, I I think that's what I wanted I think that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Um it might seem a little scatterbrained, but like I said, I had I had just started trying to type down trying to type down what I wanted to type down on my blog, but I found that it was gonna take forever and a day to do. I just found it to be faster to just say it rather than type it. So so I'm just gonna go ahead and set to getting this thing uploaded and all that and can't call it good. But otherwise, hey, if you made it, especially if you made it this far, thanks for thanks for watching. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.